Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Time to discuss further two differential equations and now look at, at an example on direction fields. And yeah, in my last video I went over direction fields and what they were. Now just to better illustrate it, go over this example. Uh, basically this example states uh, part A, sketch the direction field for the differential equation y prime equals x squared plus y squared minus 1. And part B it says use part A to sketch the solution curve that passes through the origin or 0, 0, that point. So first thing we'll do is, well, again, uh, recall from my last video, direction field is just small line segments drawn at uh, many points uh, that p basically yeah, represent the slope at each of these points and we can get those slopes uh, from the differential equation. In this case, would basically we could write this as, so if you were to get a table, either a table, you could just either do it manually or uh, use Excel calculator or an online calculator. I'll, I'll pull out an online calculator soon. So the y prime, this is the slope. So for example, the point zero, zero, this slope is gonna be equal to, well, zero squared plus zero minus one. That equals to negative one, and then the point zero one, for example, this is y prime. This equals two zero, and this is zero squared plus uh, one squared. One squared is just one minus one. This uh, again, this just goes to zero. And similarly, one zero. This will be y prime. This equals to one squared uh, plus zero minus one equal zero again let's let's look at a more complex one zero two so this one th at this point will have again zero is the x and then the y is uh, two so two squared minus one so this is four minus one that equals to three so it's a steeper slope and again basically you do this for a bunch of points uh, however many you want I'll try this actually better so you can dot 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 go down and then solve the slopes for each single one keep going as many as you need and here uh, I've just this is, a, this is just a random uh, uh, direction field or slope field plotter or generator that uh, it's pretty useful it's, it's, again I went over this one in my last video basically if we were to look at uh, this graph so when you plug it in in this case this is our differential equation f of uh, f prime of x uh, y is equal to x squared plus y squared minus 1 or again dy over dx equals x squared plus y squared minus 1 so that's just our equation and I'm going to change these up like that just to get what my calculus book has the coordinates from 2 to etc so get something like this and again those are the slopes of uh, at each and one of these points and I'll I've copied it over here. Yeah, so here I've copied that uh, same plot here, zoomed in, and then as you can see here we have this extends and we'll have the y and x axis. So these are all the directional fields as you can see here at uh, the point zero zero. It's a negative one slope, which is again that's our negative one slope. This is our zero zero point right here, and then when we go up to uh, zero one. That is basically, um, that is at the point uh, zero, and then, yeah, one actually doesn't have it, one here is in between. Yeah, actually, yeah, that one didn't generate one there, but let's look at the other one, zero, two, which is, yeah, so the zero, two point that's over here, and as you can see, that's very steep as compared to this negative one. So it's, uh, yeah, that's this pretty much represents it. Yeah, so now the next step is uh, is part B, because basically this is our direction field generated. You can do this manually. I just go, got that random calculator online. So part B states, use part A to sketch a solution curve that passes through the origin. So this origin, I'll draw this actually in red. So this is zero, zero. So if we were to draw a solution curve that goes through here, and again, these direction fields or the and these are pretty much small line segments that roughly estimate the solution curves so at this point if we were to go to the right it, we're gonna have to go downwards like this because the slope is negative and then as you can see the slope is becoming uh, positive so it goes to zero then positive so we're going up and as you can see we are going up like that I'll draw this a bit neater something like that 
and then on the left side again this is the slope is going up like that and it's breaking down and then because we, again we just have to be parallel to the lines roughly uh, to the uh, slope so it goes something like that and this is yeah this is pretty much how our solution curves look like and we did not even have to find the solution explicitly we just uh, roughly estimated what the graph would look like like that. So uh, yeah, that's all for today. If you learned from this uh, pretty uh, simple but useful example on direction fields and uh, how to plot it, uh, etc. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned like always. You can download these exact notes in the link below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.